Hey my baby pandas, so I'm going to be showing you my mug and cup collection and it ranges from Disney to DC all the way to anime mugs and I'm super excited to finally show you this awesome collection. As you can see it's surrounding the camera and I'm going to be showcasing it right here. So let's start off with this awesome Wally mug. I am in love with this mug. I haven't used it yet because I just find it too preshy and... <laughs> It's too delicate, but I do want to use it one day. This mug is just super, super cute, and I love the shape. It's a square shape to match Wally, -E, and I suggest to watch this movie if you guys haven't. It's it's just so cute, and I love love the meaning behind it. So here's my Wally -E mug that I got from Disney. And then, of course, you already see this one. This is my Humongo Mickey Mouse mug. Now, this mug can hold a lot of tea. And that's what I love about this mug, especially if I just want to drink tea like no other. This mug does it for me. Um, so, here is the classic Mickey Mouse. Super cute. And I love it because, of course, it's black. It's gorgeous. And then... I have this little cup right here, and this one has pandas. I hope you guys can see it, but it's like different um, different pandas doing different things, and of course a random bamboo, and I got this as a present, and it's super cute. I love this. And here, okay, now this I have been using recently, and you'll see why, and you'll fall in love. Ah! It's a Jack Skellington head. I love it. My mom got this for me and I fainted. No, I didn't. But it's so cute and it legit looks like a freaking... You're just drinking out of a head. And it's Jack Skellington. How, how awesome is that? It's so cute. I love the details. Can you see the details? I just love this mug. I mean, it doesn't hold as much tea as I would like. But this this mug has been with me during my sickness, so it has a special place in my heart. All right, moving on. Sorry, guys. So this is still Disney. So I have these, um, these, uh, what do you call these? I call them, like, long tea mugs, or I think they're called tumblers, are they? I have no idea. But I love, this is another... Uh, example of if I want a lot of tea it just look at that that will hold so much tea and you cannot go wrong with these long long tea mug holder I know that um uh you if you guys are wondering if I drink coffee I used to drink coffee but I just couldn't anymore because, I don't know, I, my heart pounded really hard and kind of freaked me out. So I'm just on the tea bandwagon, which is fine by me. And here's another long one. I love this one. It's the classic Mickey. And it's so cute. I just really enjoy having just the long uh, tea mug because you just make one gigantic cup and you're done. Like, you'll be drinking on tea for for however long you drink it for, which is great. Now, we're moving on to the good stuff. Here we have some, I know that you probably saw this in my recent haul video, but here is my new shot glass, and this has Harley Quinn on it. Very cute. So if you need a little shot or two, you could uh, drink out of this awesome little thing. And to accompany my Harley Quinn. So I do want to get more Harley Quinn because I only have two. But here is a cup with Harley on it. Can you guys see? I'm going to try and move that a little bit. And I just love, love this. So this is... Awesome. I haven't used it yet just because it's again a little preshy and I kind of want to you know let it be for now But it's just gorgeous. I love Harley Quinn All right, and last oh no wait. Here's the last Disney thing which is just gorgeous. I love Ariel. I love the little mermaid. She was my favorite favorite princess and this this mug is gorgeous. 
mug, cup, whatever you want to call it. It's just gorgeous. Look at the detailing. Just look at that. It's so pretty. It looks like it's painted by watercolors. And then what I love that inside the mug you have this like silver silver seal. And it's just a really beautiful detail. I haven't used this um cup yet. So I'm I hope that this will stay. I'm hoping it will and it won't disappear on me. I don't know if anyone have is if anyone out there has a princess cup that has this like, can you guys tell me if it's still there? Because I'm scared with the amount of tea I drink. I'm really scared that I might either crack it or like some sort of inner design will go away or be, it becomes sometimes um, dirty. For example, see how clean this is because I haven't used it. This one, my Mickey Mouse one. <laughs> That like that is clean. That's not even dirty. That's just stained by the tea I drink. So I'm just kind of cautious on I think what kind of tea I'm gonna drink. I'm usually on the orange pico bandwagon because I love orange pico, but I just don't want to stain it. So I might use this for like my lighter teas, like my green teas. We'll see about that. But if anyone has sort of similar cup like this, let me know if this is still surviving, all right? But this is just too gorgeous, and I'm happy I have this in my collection. And then, okay, now we're we're coming up to the good stuff very slowly. So this one, of course, I just recently hauled in my last video. This is my Star Wars, Star Wars mugs. So they have Darth Vader, Yoda, and a Stormtrooper. Oop, sorry. And I got two of them, which is awesome, because you could share it with a friend, share it with your lava, or share it with family members. It's just really cute to have. Okay, now I'm gonna grab uh I'm gonna grab my anime mugs. Let's start off with Rosen Maiden. This is gorgeous. Now, how I like to select my anime mugs, I like to have pretty much all the characters on the mug. Unless it's like a specific character character I really like, I just like seeing all of the cast on the uh, mug. So this was just too cute to pass up. I know I'm trying for you guys to see it, but this camera, I'm telling you, I hope you guys can see that, but this mug is just gorgeous, and I love it. So that's the first anime mug. And now we have... So here is, of course, Lucky Star. As you can see, I love collecting it with the castmates. And of course, if there was a mug that simply just had Konata, I would just get that, but um, that shop that I went to didn't. But I love seeing all the girls together. Now this one, this mug kind of broke my heart because I made a little crack in it. Because I drank so much tea and I guess the heat or whatever, it just couldn't handle the amount of teaness I was doing. So this one kind of cracked. So it's kind of in retirement at the moment because I don't want it to break. So these I will definitely not drink a lot of tea out of. Probably if I'm feeling a little uh, nerdy, fancy, then I would use an anime mug. But from this, like seeing this, it just makes me nervous to use even the others. And here's my uh, other. This one is gorgeous. The color of this one is so pretty. Of course, Lucky Star. I love this one. And then you have the two girls. I just love this. I haven't used this uh, as well because of that one cracking. It just made me so nervous. So I'm either going to use this like not as much. And if I want to use it, I'll probably not use it for tea. Just because I feel like that's what will make it crack. And I do not want that to happen. But these are just so gorgeous. Okay, I have two more mugs. And then here we have, of course, mugs from the My Little Sister Can't Be This Cute. I love the girls. Just seeing them on the mug. And I'm happy the guys in this one. 
Because sometimes it's hard to get the guy character, you know? But this mug completes, like, everyone. So cute. Ooh. All right. And here is my last one. Ooh. So this one is my only um anime mug where it's uh, character specific. So I picked Karino just because I like her. I know some people out there probably think otherwise. I did want to uh, get Kuro Neko, but that wasn't available. But this one just really caught my attention because it has like different, you know, scenes, different facials. You know, when she's acting all mean. Or if she's looking at, you know, Dojin. I don't know if you guys watch this anime, but I really like it. So this one is just really cute. And I hope to find Kuroneko one day. And honestly, I hope to find Konata, like, in this sort of style one day. Because it's just so colorful. Like, everywhere you look, it's just pretty. Alright, so here is how everything looks like. I know it's kind of a mess. It's hard to see. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my mug cup collection, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just, I'm just really happy. It's just so cute. And, um, oh, I did make an Instagram. I'm going to leave the links in the bottom below along with my Facebook and Twitter. So I hope you guys join me on Instagram. So this is like kind of my informal announcement about it. I still need to make my part two of my 1,000 subscriber special, which is coming. And I promise it will come. It has to come. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys this first. So I hope you guys enjoyed this visual galore of cute mugs and caps. Anyways, pandas, I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing to my weird random channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, pandas.